Susie, ladies, can I show you a real quick magic trick? Sure. Check this out. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? Nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand. But I'm going to give you this card. Okay. Ready? Smooth. Oh. <laughs> let, me, let me show you another trick. Read out loud the triangles. Paris in the spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. You got them all wrong. Can you see her mistakes? Let me show you what it says. Paris in the, the spring. Oh. Bird in the, the hand. Once in a, a lifetime. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Can I show you another trick? Sure. Okay. Are you a good person? Yeah. Let's see if you're mistaken about that, okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. <laughs> what do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? Liars. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you ever? No. Not even candy as a kid? No. How about an answer from somebody's test? No. Okay, let's say you haven't stolen, okay? Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. Yeah. So by your admission, you're a liar, you're not a thief, but you're disobedient and rebellious. Is that a good person? Maybe. <laughs> no. Think about this. If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? You shall not lie. Just based on that one, are you innocent or guilty? Guilty. Yeah. And should God let guilty people into heaven? So where would you have gone had you died yesterday? You said that I didn't, right? But what did God do for you so he could forgive you? Gave us another day. What's that? Gave us another day. He had to do a lot more than that. Ever heard of Jesus? Yeah. What did he do for you? Died. On the cross. Yeah. And then he rose again on the third day. Do you know why he had to do that so you could be forgiven? No. Because God is going to punish every sin. You've sinned, I've sinned, right? If he punishes us for our sins, we would end up in hell, like you said. But Jesus wants to pay the penalty for your sins and my sins. And if Jesus took care of it, you won't have to be punished and you won't have to go to hell. But how do you receive what Jesus did, okay? You have to repent and believe in Jesus. Turn away from your sins and put your faith in Jesus because he's the one who paid the bill, okay? A bill you can't pay. Did, did you know how to go to heaven before I talked to you? Kind of, but not really, right? So had I walked up to you an hour ago and asked you how to go to heaven, you would have said what? What do you think? Be a good person? Yeah. yeah. That's absolutely the wrong answer. Do you know why good people do not go to heaven? They don't exist. The Bible says in Romans 3.10, there is no one good, not even one. Romans 3.23 says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Nobody gets there by being good enough because we're all bad enough to go to hell, okay? So repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. Do you believe what I just shared with you from the Bible called the gospel? Are you ready to make a commitment to follow Jesus, Tur turn away from your old sins and follow Jesus forever and ever? You are? What's your first name? Noe. Noe. Noe? How do you spell that? N-O-E. N-O-E. Nice. How about you? Um, Kay Kayla. Can I can't ask you four questions and then pray for you to receive Jesus? Sure. Do you agree that you sinned against God? Yes. Do you, do you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross? Yes. And that he rose again on the third day? Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please save these two young ladies by the power of Jesus' blood? They just heard the gospel and they believe. Please fill them with the Holy Spirit so they can obey. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, guys. Um, I can't save you, but Jesus can. If you truly made a commitment to believe and obey Jesus, knowing what he did for you on the cross, you're saved. And if you're saved, here's how you're going to know. Only two things. You're going to change into a new person, obeying God more and more. You're going to grow in holiness. And you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you. Do you guys go to church somewhere? My Is it a Christian church or a... Do you go there on a regular basis? Is it possible for you to go to church on a regular basis? Try to start obeying Jesus by, by starting there, going to church, a Christian church, not a Catholic church, okay? And um, there are churches listed in here around here that you might be able to check out.
My name is Tony. My email's in here also. If you have any questions, send me an email. God bless you guys. Thank you. Yeah. God.